Hello, hello. Um, I say that because of Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> Fans still going on in the background. Um, so it's the same day. I just decided to talk more about this speed through if I get it through fast enough. Um, this is a speed through of Mink. <laughs> Some people think of her as Minera. Minera? Minera? <laughs> Minera. Minera. I always call her Minera when I was smaller. Minera. But it's Minera Mink. Or Minky Mink. Um, yeah, it's a speed coloring or lining of that. Um, I think I should put up both videos, the ASMR video, video and speed coloring of this. I think I'm going to do it for both of my videos. Because there's some people that's not into it. I'm not into me talking, even with my voice. Okay, you're still drawing roses so far. Um, this one. This one, the crush that I had on her in my um, Saturday cartoon news, along with Rescue Rangers, Darkwing Duck, um, Tailspin. I think Animaniacs came a little bit later. Definitely a little bit later. But it's I grouped them all up in one, you know, Scooby-Doo. Oh, I just watch that all the time. I love, I think Scooby Doo is the one that made me like mystery. I love mystery. Like right now, I watch Columbo. I finished all of Columbo. I finished all of Matlock. I finished all of Murder She Wrote. And I finished all of Psych. And I finished all of, um, um, oh, what's his name? What's his name? Um, uh, Monk. Monk. There you go, Monk. I love mystery. Um, figuring out who did it. I think my favorite one of all. All right, I like the beginning of um, Columbo, but at the ending, they they kind of got more hasty with it. Like at the beginning, it was more calm and cool. Um, it was a little bit slower pace, but at the end of it, like you know, at the end of the the all of the seasons, like the last season, it started to get more hasty, more kind of Hollywood, and his personality was more bright in a way it didn't feel like monk anymore but oh well for that uh, monk wow colombo by the way um monk is like based on colombo you know the annoying guy and well he was more clean than more messy so i guess they kind of went opposite with that this is not about my mystery shows this is about miss mink here and when i first saw her in that episode where she came out and like um, I think she was taken aback or something no that was after but when she came out and let me tell you the, the tail part her, her tail was my favorite part of all the way how fluffy it was and it just dragged on the floor and the way how it laid like it was like a fluffy I don't know it was in cotton it was just it looked so comfortable to lay in and I think that's what I was more attracted to. I think that's what made me fall for tails. I used to wear a tail in high school. Um, yeah, see, it sounds weird when I say it, but it wasn't weird when I did it. And I still will do it now, but uh, it wouldn't move. So, <laughs> But yeah, I was so into tails because of um, Mink. Uh, um, and her hair matched too. Um, with this speed, ink, ink, and coloring, um, I am drawing two versions. Um, I'm just gonna pull it up for myself because I don't know what it looks like. And I'm sure you're already seeing the speedness of it. Like, nope. I'm sure. Oh, yeah. But it's two versions. One, and one I think is gonna be black, and one and one is gonna be white. Her skin was white, right? I'm not sure if I'm going to do a humanoid version, even though it's human already. What I mean by skin, like, should it be actual black and white, or should it be, like, skin tone black and skin tone white? And now that I'm saying it out loud, I think I want to do not realistic, realistic skin tone, but, like, white and black. And I never did that before, so that's what's scaring me, because I like color. Um, I like mixing colors and skin tones, <laughs> so... Maybe I'm going to do it like borderline skin tone, so it'll have at least a little bit of yellow or orange to it. And when I get to it, I get to it. Um, so, Miss Mink, 
Minerva Mink. Minerva Mink, is, she has yellow hair, so for a black version, I don't know what color I'm going to do. And I think I'm gonna, just going to fall onto my, um, my um, teal color on black skin. Looks so good. Looks so good. Um, so maybe I'm going to do teal and, and blonde. I'm thinking of the color scheme, you know, I'm blurring out my eyes, looking at the, looking at the artwork. Um, her lips. Oh, for the black one, I made her lips more plump, you know, for the ethnic kind of part of black. And for the other one, I made her lips more small, like Snow White. And the same thing with the nose, hers is more buttony and bigger, and hers is more small and pointier. You know, I wanted variation because I think all, all the shapes are beautiful, I love it. Um, and her lashes, for the black one, it's down. And for hers, I didn't know what that meant. I guess I wanted her to be more sleepy-eyed. Her to be more awake. I want to be more awake because you know she's the original colors, so maybe she's like, huh, <laughs> this different, you know, side of me, different version. And maybe I should put. It, I'm not sure if I should put a line of you know dark and light in the middle of it. And just leave the background white, and then put red flowers all over, just to complement her. They're going to be wearing the same color dress, I think. Yeah, but the hair is going to be a little bit more, like I want the red to be bright and her eyes to be very bright. Um, but the hair, it could be like normal, like washed with white, teal and washed with white, blonde. Um, the lips going to be bright, you know, since, since her tail and her hair is like filling up most of the space. I'm not going to make it too bright. I'm not sure. I just want it to be balanced. I don't want the, the flowers to pop, but though the flowers is pop, popping, um, both Minerva's, Minerva's, Minerva, I have a, I have a word list. Minerva, 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 <laughs> no, I can't say it. Both minks, um, still will be the focus point of this whole thing. Um, by now you'll see that whatever I planned happened because it's a fast speed throw. Um, let's see. I'll just think of it more. Um, there is no, there is no story behind this thing. I just wanted to draw her pretty and floating because I wanted her tail. Like I wanted, I wanted to do. This is a problem with this. I wanted to do details in her skin, like I with gadget freckles and blush and you know a wash of tone you know some blue some greens in it and her eyes just pops and looks so shiny and so alive you can't do that from far away you have to put details somewhere else so the freckles will be gone the pop of eyes will be gone but the hair is in um, so the further I didn't want all of it to be in you know, all of it to go, so I can't zoom out all the way because I drew her whole body. You'll see in the sketch, I drew her whole body, you know, the leg out and everything, but when the whole body, you can't see the details of her face. And I could have did the details if it was just one person, but I wanted more color and I wanted more, I wanted two people in. I wanted a black version and a white version. And not the black version, white version, where like they're both like have white skin, but one has black hair and one has white hair. I, I hate that black and white version. Why couldn't they actually do the black skin and the white skin, you know, black and white opposites? They never do that. Even for fashion shows, I've never seen that done. They always have the white girl with, you know, black or white, but they never have a black girl with white hair and white makeup next to a black girl with very dark hair. Like she has pale, pale skin and very dark hair. and. That is so beautiful to see both spectrums of skin colors and hair colors and put it next to each other. That is so beautiful. Why don't we do that more? In art and fashion, they don't do that and that made me so upset. Because um, it's like so obvious, you know, to get the black skin and the very pale skin, which is so beautiful. And like put them next to each other and the contrast will be so... So that's what I'm doing with this. This is what kind of inspired me because I'm tired of seeing art and fashion doing, you know, black and white but the same skin color, which makes no sense at all. It's art. You could, you could create whatever you want, and you choose to pick the same skin color. It's either you're very, 
comfortable with white, white skin or you just don't like darker skin, which is sometimes is the case if you look at reality. I mean, it's like you can't really avoid that. So yeah, that's what inspired me because I think all skin is beautiful, especially the very ends of the spectrums. Oh, have you seen very pale skin and very dark skin? Oh my gosh, the reflection of very, very dark skin is sometimes blue or sometimes purple or sometimes... It depends on the lighting. A very pale skin, when it's very pale, it turns into blue or turns into green. It's like almost see-through. It's the most amazing skin colors ever and I think I had to write it down. I had to make portraits of like the most amazing skin tones back in like... Again, I'm talking to a camera, I got more ideas. I want to do very, very pale skin with blue undertones and it looks porcelain and very, very dark skin that just reflects the most amazing colors. Like, like for some reason the light is teal or and teal and gold and it reflects teal and gold and purple colors. Oh my goodness, I think I'll keep her, like the darker skin with black hair or something and the whiter skin with white hair. I'm not sure if I'm gonna switch it. Maybe I'll switch the eyebrows. Her eyebrows is white and her eyebrows is like black. Oh my gosh, okay, I had to write this down. <laughs> this is what inspired. I just love it. Um mm -hmm. <laughs> And I'm gonna change and eyes and her eyes I think is gonna be really really black and for the dark it's gonna be really really pale. With this coloring technique I need to do that. I need to do that. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I, I maybe I'll put beautiful butterflies in it with like very very red because black and white or red looks amazing or blue. Uh, okay, <laughs> well, I inspired myself. Anyway, <laughs> this is all starts with Minerva. Uh, I can't say it. I can't say it. I think the way how my mouth forms, it doesn't really process. Maybe it's a Caribbean in me. Minerva. Minerva. Oh god, no. Now I'm saying with a Caribbean accent. Minerva. Um, Miss Pink, you inspire me to do other art. Thank you. What was I talking about before this? Anyway, that, that was my inspiration for this thing. Black and white, childhood, um, fluffy tails, and the flowers, well, I needed some red in there, I guess. I just wanted some very, very red in there. And I think I'm going to make this portrait so you could turn it upside down or right side up, depending on you. You could put, like, the light side upside down or you could put the dark side upside down. And they're both so beautiful. Okay, flip it around. Mm. Oopsie. That's wrong button. Yeah, it looks good either way. Um, the facial features, it's not the same as hers. I think I didn't put bottom lash because I want it to be a little bit different on both sides. Here. Yeah, I like it. I like it playing without the lashes on the bottom and with the lashes on the bottom. That's the problem I have with makeup too. I think I want my arms to be a little bit more bigger, but I'm going to leave it. Who also take legs on a girl? Oh my goodness! Uh, so I think I should go. It's 14 minutes. You got your 20 minute video last time, or maybe it's like 19, 18. This on the camera was 20. So thank you for listening to my Minerva inspiration thing. <laughs> maybe if I talk more, I'll be inspired to do a lot more things. And maybe I won't do it, but at least I'm inspired to do it. Last time it was, what? Oh, it was the Patreon thing. 
I'm not sure if I, I didn't put up the Patreon yet. I'll tell you when I put up the Patreon. I might make a separate video to, put, to do the Patreon. But I think I need more, more portraits and more illustration before I do the Patreon. So, so I can show you what I can do and what you can tell me to do or something and what prints you want. And oh, I'm so I'm so excited for it. So, thank you for listening. I say that like three times before I finish. Um, thank you for watching too, and hope to see you next time. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye. Also from Animaniacs, if you know Buttons and Mindy, that's where I get it from. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye.